Hello everyone. Welcome to BLSI Toolbox channel. Today I will show you how to dump a bit file to a FPGA board. I will be using Nexus 4 DDR uh, RTX 7 FPGA board and a very low code of binary to 7 segment display with using 4 bit counter. So without wasting time, let's move on to the work. So this is my top model coding. Here you can see I have instantiated two modules. One is clock divider to divide the 100 megahertz in build clock to one hertz output. And uh, another is bin to seven segment DUT. Here you can see this is for 7 segment decoder decoding 7 segment and my top model declaration is here I require clock reset and this is my 1 hertz output clock I have uh, converted 100 megahertz clock to 1 hertz and the DP pin for uh, this is a package pin for driving the 7 segment uh, display N is again a package pin for enabling the 7 segment and um, count show is the decoder output which will be transferred to the 7 segment display. So here is the code, here you can see always at uh, passage of clock 1 hertz this counter will uh, count up correspondingly the counter output will be fed to the uh, 7 segment decoder and output will be shown. This is a structural programming. Now, this is the my clock divider module. Here I have divided by clock using a decimal uh, uh, parameter, using a parameter divisor where I have uh, given 100 megahertz for dividing the 100 megahertz so that you can got uh, the value as 1 hertz and uh, this is the code it will be count up from 1 to this again it will be the counter will be 0 and 1 complemented depending upon the conditions this one so this is the clock divider module which is used in my uh, module top module next this is the 7 segment decoder so before uh, decode, writing the code you have to understand the 7 segment functionality so this is the 7 segment a b c t e f and g and one is dp which i have already declared this is a dp pin here for enabling this display and n is uh, there is a, there is eight 7 segment display in the nexus ddr port i for selecting the particular particular uh, 7 segment display we have to use this code this an 8 bit code i have given 0 is the active low port so i have i have selected the first one so i have given first one 0 rest is 1 this is active low enabling and we have to give dp pin 1 this is the configuration of uh, 7 segment and rest is the code so code i have written in hexadecimal and here is the tape truth table you can see this code has been written here this is 7, 1117, 1110 means E, 7E for 00. For 0 display, I have like that, I have written all this code. And now, extra code is being written because if the 7 segment are of two types, one is active low and the another is active high. So for active low, we have to complement it. We have to reverse the two table. So for that, I have written, because a Nexus DDR4 is active low, uh, 7 segment, so I have uh, they complemented it and uh, corresponding output is being fed to the 7 segment port. Next is the FPGA implementation. Here we have to write one extra file means XDC file, Xilinx design constraint file. So this is the format and syntax of uh, XDC file writing. Here I have mapped all the pins with a uh, uh, variable declared all the pins port declared module port with the package pin. E3 is the clock pin reset for reset. I have used JS15, uh, it's a switch. And rest are the 7 segment 
this where it is already written you can see t10 r18 these are the pins of fpga uh, 7 segment display and dp pin is there h15 dp pin h15 is a dp pin here you can see and uh, these are the an ports enable ports an pins have been uh, j17 j18 like that all pins are mapped with my variable and this is an extra led to show the one hertz clock so this has been written for uh, implementing so that's all for configuring now let's move on to the demo so let's create project a new project next give any name according to your desired or convenience rtl project create file test very log file next create constraint file test because we required for implementation xtc file is required so test xtc now you have to select the device which in which device you want to dump your code as I am selecting the RTX 7 because we are Nexus DDR4 has RTX 7 FPGA. Package is CSG324. This device is being used in Nexus DDR4 to select it properly. So you can give your codes here. CLK reset input ports and uh, DP DP pin is required. This is output port. AN is required. AN is required. Output 8 bit. So 7 down to 0, then count show, this is 7 bit, give 6 down to 0, press ok. So double click on it, you will find the editor. As I have written my code here, so I'll just copy and paste. Then press save. Okay. Then in the XTC file, it will be a blank file as it is already written previously. So I will copy and paste, save it. Now the next step is to run synthesis. So synthesis is running, we run synthesis. So synthesis is complete now, run implementation. Now the uh, design is implemented physically in the FPGA and the variable is mapped with the pin whatever I have assigned 
in the code paste pen routing all physical de uh, design steps are being followed here uh, routing optimization also done design optimization is also done here So now routing is done, detailed routing is going on. We have to order it takes time, so we have to wait for it. Now implementation is complete. We have to generate now with stream for dumping the code to the FPGA, the final file. Okay, okay. Now writing bitstream is going on. The command write bitstream, internal command of silings is being run. So BST is complete. Now open hardware manager for dumping the code. Here you press open target, click on auto connect. So it is showing it is connected. Now click on program device. So bit file will be already ready. Just run the program. That's all. Let's see how the hardware is response, responding. Here you can see the counter is counting up using seven segment display and one small LED is blinking to represent the one hertz clock. Now if you press the reset button to one the counter will stop. You can see here the counter is stopped now but LED is glowing. Now if you press again 0 the counter using 7 segment display will count up again and the process goes on. So this is all about from the demonstration part, hope you like this video, thank you.